Hello, this is Start in Gaming, and welcome back to another DCO video. As I'm playing the St. Patrick's Day event. Salutations, Earth idiot! I am Mr. Mixius Spitalik, a being from the fifth dimension. I understand you Earth chumps have a legend about little green men. <laughs> well, how could I resist? Gather all 33 of me golden coins from pots of gold all over Metropolis. If you can. <laughs> yeah, I can. But once again, doing the holiday event on my Simon Bass character for a few reasons. I mean, first I said I would probably end up doing most of them. As in, plus there's a couple items I'd like to get on this character. Because like, there's some good style stuff that would be great for some lantern based styles. So... Definitely got to get those. So definitely got to play it as Simon as much as possible while, you know, the event is still around. And really want to make a video on it. I mean, should check in anyway. I mean, I'm, I haven't been posting way too many videos lately, so. I mean, I post a couple style videos, but. And I probably have some more upcoming. You know, other than that, I definitely not been very good about keeping up with posting like you know videos and checking in with you guys and chatting to the few subscribers that I have asking how you're all doing which how are you all doing perfect segue to ask that well, here's a pot of gold Oh, uh, boo you! Oh, uh, 30 more coins to go! <laughs> you so do not rock! You're a jerk. Get out of here. Oh, okay. I'm near a mission, that's why there is an enemy person. Yeah. Try to probably get somewhere where the missions aren't actually, because I doubt they're going to spawn too close to mission places. I mean, they could. We've definitely seen it happen before, so. Like, usually with other holiday events, like, I've seen, you know, things spawn, like, right inside a uh, mission place. So, it is very possible for that to happen. Right. Okay. Uh. I doubt one's gonna spawn in the park, so I should probably get out of here. Uh, here's another mission place like right there, so. Boop -a -doo. I know I'm a little late, you know, to ask on this. Like, I probably should have uploaded a video on this event before St. Patrick's Day, but since I can't ask you guys what you're planning, what did you guys do on St. Patrick's Day? Anything special that you guys want to put in the comment section let me know about I'd be happy to read it maybe even respond so I've not had this much trouble finding one before this is odd usually I would have found way more by now uh. don't talk to me now or else and, okay, I'm probably not going to be able to steal any coins so all of these other people are around. Oh, I got one. Okay, it's cool. It's giving me credit for what they're doing. I didn't realize it does that. That's interesting. Useful. <laughs> oh, here's the pot of gold. Stash, 
Earth chump. Those are my golden coins. You told me to find them. That's exactly what I'm doing. That's a nice green outfit you got there. Which I probably shouldn't be making fun of it considering I'm wearing a green outfit. No more golden coins for you. And that may be it to that one. Okay, whatever. Let's go find another pot of gold. Okay, now it looks like I might be starting to find them quickly. never gives away anything for free, bucko. I demand your immediate attention. Too bad. You're not a fun conversationalist. Then again, neither am I. So. Time is up, super chump. Too bad I can't punch him in the face. <laughs> he's like the Riddler in the Arkham games. You know, he's so annoying. And in green. Get your hands off of me, golden coins! Killjoy! Don't you like dancing? Hey, now, if you didn't want me to take your golden coins, you probably shouldn't have told business. me to. Go get a real job! Sign Bass actually doesn't have a real job other than being a Green Lantern, so. Yeah. Kinda accurate to his life. Don't they have the golden rule on this dumb planet? That's my stuff you're nabbing. Well, you told me to nab it. You don't tell someone to do something if you don't want them to do it. It's common sense. Time is up, super chump. Yeah, gotta go find another. Let's see. Yep. A few more. Excellent. You collected Mr. Mixius Spitalix coins. Maybe now he will leave. If Superman can't force him out of this dimension, no one can. Well, now that that's over. Let's go take a little tour. No. Otherwise this video is probably going to be kind of short. I don't know how long this recording has been going on. I don't have a timer up like I do most of the time. Like especially like when I'm doing like videos from um, you know something longer or you know episode based like Injustice or Lego Batman. Like I'll try to keep a timer there. So I can be aware of how late I'm getting in and if I do need to try hurrying to get through or if I take my time. Because, you know, I've said before, I try to keep them r around 20 minutes at the longest. Like, if it's shorter than 20 minutes, that's fine. Yeah, here he is. Let's see what he has to say about the Superman statue. Grand, isn't it? The Superman Memorial Statue in Centennial Park. Otherwise known as beginner targeting practice for the city's pigeon population. <laughs> mm, speaking of, I need to go look up old Super Chump. If he's gonna fight against Brainiac, that boy is gonna need a brain. Okay. Didn't have too much exciting to say there. I'm gonna head to the Daily Planet. I think I actually remember this one from doing this event one of the previous years. Like, you know, what he says about the Daily Planet. You know, it's been a long time though. You know, so I usually play with my volume off, so I actually don't hear it most of the time these days. But, you know, I turned on for the recording. Which is good, because I'd like to hear it at least once. <laughs> you know? But... Also, I might do, like, another video on this event. I'm thinking, since it is about a Superman character, I might log into my Val Zod and do it, since, you know, he is the Earth 2 Superman, but... Anyway, I'll shut up for a moment so I can hear 
Sir Mixie Spitlick. Ah, the Daily Planet building. If you squint through that brainiac bottle haze, you can see the tiny dark speck of Lois Lane throwing herself out the window, hoping that Superman will rescue her. I'm always waiting for the day he doesn't. Hasn't happened yet, but I can hope. <laughs> what a jerk. We got two more stops and then we'll have toured his version of Metropolis in a way. I mean, still normal Metropolis, but the way Mr. Mixie Spitlick sees Metropolis. Too bad we can't get him to say his name backwards and go away, Here right? We have Metropolis City Hall, the hub of municipal government for the city, where you earth tools have something called laws. I myself was mayor once. Everything was going great until I was forced to take extended leave back in the fifth dimension. Rest assured that any time you want to do community service for the greater good, ultimately Super Goon will show up and ruin it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're doing service for the greater good. Not like you were probably doing something evil. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, it's saying like, you know, about getting his name backwards. He'll probably say it in a week or two. I mean, I think it ends next week. So, he'll say kill Tipsy Zim or whatever by then. Yeah. It's the Metropolis Museum of Art. Too bad Brainiac decided to become an art collector and bottle the whole building. In the fifth dimension, we don't hang art on the walls. It's used for a more, uh, sanitary purpose. <laughs> Kerflush! <laughs> but you Earth dope seem to love the stuff. Saps. Okay. That's everything from that. Now, how many clovers do I have? 21, so I can go buy something. Uh. I'll show you guys something I'll go by. Because there are a couple things. Like, of course, I want to get that, like, leather jacket that everyone uses for, like, you know, Hal Jordan and his, like, n more normal look. There's, like, like gloves and boots and stuff that look good for, like, a Guy Gardner style, so. Well show it off though I'll be showing you again if I you know actually make a style video of what I have in mind Let's see yeah see I already bought this but you'd have to color it brown and all it kind of look like Cal Jordan's jacket, so if I ever, I don't know, do something where I make my character look like Hal Jordan, his more normal outfit. What does that even look like? Okay. This. Mm. I think these would kind of look good for Guy Gardner. Uh. Belt, not so much. Pants, eh, not really. Definitely the boots, you know, with the kind of buckle on it and all. So, I'll buy those. Yeah, so now I got those, and I can use them for a guy gardener style. Keep them the same color and all. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I need. There you go. Alright, well, that's everything for the event. I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever it is. So, until then, like, comment, subscribe. Das Vidania!